So here we have the iPod Nano for 4G, fourth generation. You can see it's got a slightly different shape than previous generations. You get kind of an oval, beveled on the side look. Also, headphone jack is on the bottom, similar to the 3G. It's much thinner. The screen itself is about the same size as the 3G, but they've put it uh, lengthwise here to make it thinner. Feels very good in the hand, very lightweight. This is the 8 gigabyte model. It's actually the purple model. I don't know why it looks so blue here. Here you can see the relative size of the new 4G iPod Nano versus the first generation iPod Touch. Um, thickness wise. The screen is now glass. Does not scratch as easily at all. Very much like the iPod Touch. And the glass itself is slightly curved. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. The artwork they've kind of put on the bottom here, the one that used to be on the right on the 30G model. Um, everything else is pretty much as you would expect. Some of the changes include um, the new Genius playlist. I'll show you how that works. Um, if you come here to a song, let's choose a song. Okay. You can hold down the center button and you can go to Start Genius. I don't know if you can see that. But when you click it, what it does is it puts together a list of songs, a playlist that um, has a bunch of songs, 25 I believe, uh, that sound similar based uh, on a, a lot of um, uh, information that is taken from the iTunes Store uh, database based on um, other people's use. Um, you could also save that playlist into uh, its own permanent playlist so that you can come back to it later without having to run the Genius Utility again. Um, one of the other nice new things, if we come here, let's say we're playing a song, okay, um, if I just shake it, it goes into shuffle mode. You see that? So now it's in shuffle mode. Mm. Uh, another neat thing, if we turn it sideways, you'll see it goes into cover flow mode automatically and if we turn it the other way it of course goes to cover flow the other direction just kind of similar to the um, similar to the uh, iPod touch also similar thing in videos let's go to a video here so we go to music videos let's just choose a uh, a video here okay you can see you get the video however if you turn it automatically switches orientation depending on which way you're looking at it makes use of the accelerometer you can also Let's say Washington DC. You can see that the um has it actually has a what seems to be a two at least a two axis accelerometer because if you go to the the game the maze game okay starting the maze game up okay okay you'll see that ball moves in the direction that you tilt it 